Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Today we are going over the full Divinity Web again. This is the full Divinity Web review, just so you're aware. Uh, we will be going over the center area and then we will be working our way up to the top center and then working our way around counterclockwise. Just so you're aware, you can skip through the video, find an area where you are interested in seeing things. You know, it doesn't hurt my feelings to not listen to everything. I just hope this helps if it does. Uh, the reason for the full web list as well is because things have changed. Uh, some of the points, the nodes have changed, especially for the weapons. Uh, so we are going over the full list again. So here we go, starting with the center and then moving up to the top. We obviously have our initial heroes, Magnus, the initial map, which is the desert and its hard mode. Uh, and let's start with Cleave. Cleave did undergo some fantastic changes. Uh, it's definitely a very different weapon, uh, but it gets some a little bit of damage over here. Uh, gets some knockback, 10%, which is actually pretty nice. A uh, bit more damage. I mean, look at that. Right off the bat, 4 damage. Very, very nice. Cooldown reduction. You no longer have cooldown in the uh, level up system, so this is very important for your Cleave as well. Uh, and one more damage to the banner. Again, this adds up very much so over time. 5% uh, crit chance. Oh, it's good to have a little bit of crit. 5% uh, size. The size is very tiny, so this 5% is actually very good. And combo plus one. Uh, so this gives it one more uh, strike when it activates. It activates much like Shurikens now, where it is, you know, strike, 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 and then it's a long cooldown. So that uh, combo gives you another strike, which is very nice. Uh, we have some health upgrades over here. We have the spears. Uh, I'm actually... I prefer the spears now. I, I'm a big fan of the spears. Uh, one cooldown, uh, one cooldown, or point one, I should say. And then a 5% banner size. Always nice to have that banner. Uh, plus three damage, plus five damage. I mean, look at that, right off the bat. Uh, plus six damage to the banner. Plus six damage to the banner. Insane. That That is ridiculous. Um, spears plus one, another spear, always good. Spears plus one, another spear, always good. Fantastic. Then we have Vivian. Yay, Vivian. Uh, not sure if she's still my favorite. I, I haven't played around with the characters too much. As you saw, my playtime is still rather low for this patch. Uh, so we shall see. Now we have Arrow. Uh, always a good time. One, uh, point one cooldown. Fantastic. Point two cooldown. Even better, of course. Uh, 5% to the banner. A banner upgrades are always, always good. Uh, plus 2 damage, fantastic. Plus 3 damage, fantastic. Plus 5 damage, oh my, that is so nice. And then a plus 2 damage to the banner. These are fantastic upgrades. I really like the fact that the upgrades actually improve in power in a lot of situations, like point 0.1, then point 0.2, 2, 3, 5. Very, very nice to see. Uh, we have some health, we have some health, we have some health, and we have Ice Ring right here here. So Ice Ring itself gets a uh, 0.1 second cooldown. We have one freeze damage. This does so little damage. Uh, that one freeze damage does add up. 10% size. Size is amazing for this. And one freeze damage. That Those two freeze damage increase it from one damage to three for its dot. So fantastic. Uh, I will say you get pets right underneath, which are the standard pets, which is Slither, which this tooltip is actually wrong. It is now plus five so, uh, I might actually bring that up. I'm sure it's, they probably already know. Mining speed plus 50%. Magnet range plus 50%. It is not. It is 25%. So, these uh, tooltips have not been updated. Uh, and the other two are the same. Hero move speed and scoop. Fantastic indeed. Orbital fire right here. The final of the center. We have... Oh, that's the plus two health area. Whatever. Apologies. One dot damage, which, again, all damage is dot damage now. So this is essentially one damage. Uh, one dot damage. One dot damage, which is nice. It would be nice if it did increase one, two, three, something along those lines. Uh, and then dot damage plus two. This is not a banner. If I wish this was a banner plus one. That would be much more impactful. Uh, but, hey, you know, two more damage is very nice still. 10% uh, speed. 10% speed. Speed is always good. Uh, and then 5% to the banner. This is a plus. It can be a minus, though. If you do not want it to be that big, you know, if you don't even want... Well, no, I mean, you still take it. I mean, you just don't get as many size upgrades. It's still nice, uh, you know, but some people really don't even care about the size. So it's not as important if you don't care about the size. I like the size, personally, so that is my take. Uh, we will go up the center here. 
And we have our bone shot. Fantastic. And that leads with plus three damage. Always nice to have. Plus three damage. Even better. Uh, five percent cooldown. So cooldown is at a percent based, which is quite interesting to see. Ten percent speed. Always want that uh, speed. It lets you hit things better. And ten percent range, which is nice. I mean, again, I don't focus on range too much usually. But now with the new aura mobs and things like that, I think range will be much more important. We have 10% health, same as before. We have Maxine. We have our one damage. And I'm going to go over this over here as well, which is the Grand Hex ability. Again, very... Uh, I, I like Grand Hex. It's not the best, though, I understand. 5% uh, size. We have 10% size. Again, I like that increasing uh, function there. One or point 0.1 cooldown on both the top and bottom. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, you know, that's... It's nice. You know, it's not two or anything like that. Oh, wait, there's the two. Look at that. No banner upgrade. It's just a point two. Uh, but again, cooldown is king, so, you know, can't argue with that whatsoever. Uh, finishing going up, we have Hearty on the left side, and then we have the Darkmoon Grove with its hard mode, and we have Beacon. Uh, Beacon does have a new graphic. It is fantastic. We are going to save this line here for the end. This will be where we end. Uh, so moving up along more, we have the Currency Exchange, which is this in the top right so this is actually really early on to unlock which is fantastic make sure you get that it is cheap now so cheap is good moving up even more we have cc which is our 10 percent more experience pet we have five percent more blue rune drops which is nice to have especially to to power up all your levels uh we have grand hex over here which now has 0.2 which is an upgrade. Point one. It's very interesting that this actually downgrades, so that is something to note. Uh, and then we have five damage, ten damage, and ten damage. Does kind of suck that this is, looks like a banner upgrade or something like that, but it's actually the exact same as the previous point. It's not even more, um, so that can be a little deceiving, so be careful of that if you are going up there and say, oh, I want that banner upgrade. Grand, It's Grand Hex. You probably don't care. And I understand. <laughs> Again, I'm a fan of Grand Hex, but, you know, maybe I'm a masochist. We shall see. Bone Shot over here. I believe this is the third tier of Bone Shot. I believe these are the tier threes at the top. Maybe tier twos, but I believe these are tier threes. Um, we have 10% range. Again, more important now with these... Uh, new enemies with the projectile enemies with the uh, aura enemies is very nice 10 percent larger just lets you hit stuff even easier and 20 percent larger again lets you hit stuff even easier at least it's a double of that so it is a super point uh, would be nice if it was a banner oh i i feel like that should indicate banner oh I already got to the banner. We will get to that in a second. 10% speed on the right side. Cooldown by 5%. 3 damage. 5 damage. And then plus 3 damage to the banner. Again, beautiful, beautiful things right there. Love the banner upgrades. They are the most important part. We then move on to more shops. A little bit of health. The soul drop rate, still the same at 20%. Uh, 2 health. Damage plus 3. Look at that. Damage plus 3. Not 1. But three. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Shadow Shuriken, uh, tier three, again, I believe. Uh, up here we have 5% crit. Fantastic. Always want that crit. 10% speed, which is great. Uh, seven damage. There you go. Look at the seven damage. That's huge. And then banner plus five damage. That, that's what you want to see right there. Five damage to the banner. Uh, seven damage there. Plus one shuriken, nice to have, not the biggest, but not bad, and plus one shuriken, again, like, it's the exact same thing as the previous node, but it has the uh, epic symbol, or the, you know, I know I know it's basically the final, but it's not like this one has a final, you know, it, it, it highlights something different, and yet it is not, it's a little misconstruing, especially when you can't see the web, so that's why I'm showing you the entire web. Uh, we have our magnet, which is 20%, and then 1% off of all of the sides, easy peasy. Uh, going over two vines, here we go, this is vines level 2, I believe, and we have 5 dot damage, huge amounts of dot damage, 5, that's 10 dot damage, that adds up a lot over time. Uh, 0.1 cooldown, 0.1 cooldown, plus one vine which is always fantastic and then a banner for size so this is a perfect level for vines that's what you want to see you want to see banners you want to see a bunch of damage and some cooldown uh the vine as well is very nice so this is an amazing amazing level if you do like the vines we will head down here really quick just to uh get this xp plus 10 percent amazing to have more experience always and that leads into the 100 gold which also has 
five ten golds off of it. Uh, and we'll get down to mines when we get to the left side, so we'll keep going up over here, and we have chest open speed, which is one second faster with uh, 5.2 second faster uh, off of it, which is two seconds. That's, that's huge. That's a lot of time you're saving having to open chests. And then we have two health nodes off of that, uh, which also lead to more chests. So you uh, open them faster, can find one more. And again, with the new system, of, or not the new system, the way it is explained is there are always a set number of chests on the map. This will increase that set number of chests. When you open one, a new one will spawn. So if you had eight chests on the map and you pick this up now there's nine chests on the map at any given time how big that map is what the radius is for them to be in i don't know but that is how it does work uh here we go orbital fire uh 10 dot speed 10 percent speed speed uh which is both fantastic more damage on your dots more speed for rotating around you plus one dot damage plus two dot damage plus three dot damage see that's what you want to see and then 10 percent speed banner upgrade one of the most important things for your orbital fire the faster it's rotating around you the more likely you are to hit something the more it's going to protect you amazing you want it get it love it just just done uh, we have our crit chance plus 2%, same as before, and we have the second ice ring. Uh, there is no third unless my web is broken. And this one will give you 10% size, 1 damage, 1 damage, and 2 damage, which might not seem like a lot, but 10% size is very impactful. Size is huge for this ability. And then this right here, this takes it from 3 damage to 7 damage, so it might not seem like much, but really, it is actually very impactful for the skill itself. So, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel like much, but for what the skill is, it is actually huge. Uh, going from 3 damage to 7 damage on your dot, it's very impactful. So, don't forget, though, that anything that is immune, being uh, frost enemies or ghosts and things like that, they will take zero damage from this ability regardless. So, you know, something to note. I'm not going to be using my cemetery run or anything like that. Uh, I find it is a, a detriment there, uh, but it is very useful. I do love the ability. I'm going to be using it quite a lot. Now, we do have more mining nodes with a tiny bit of health off of that, which leads us to one damage mitigation. Always good to have damage mitigation. Uh, it's more important now uh, or maybe it's less important, technically. If everything's hitting harder, uh, which it does appear to me at least so far in testing, uh, that things hitting harder, one, does not feel as impactful, but it's still great, especially when you add them up. You get three. It, it is a very nice thing. Uh, we have 10% mining speed with 2% uh, offshoots, which is 20% in total. Very nice to have if you enjoy mining. The nodes do drop more, which is fantastic. Uh, two health, which is always nice. And I'm actually going to jump real quick over to the magic mines because we have another magic mine here. So we're going to go over the first magic mine here, and that is the first magic mine you will see. It has 10% size, minus one cooldown, minus one cooldown, or point one, again, point one, and five damage. Very nice to see. Uh, dot length increased by half a second, which is nice. Again, five dot damage. So this is your sort of cooldown damage side. This is your dot side. And then banner plus five damage, not plus five dot damage, plus five damage. So it's very nice to see. Cannot argue with that whatsoever. And this is also where Hugo lies, is off of this mining node. So, moving back to the other mines, uh, the upgraded version, we have plus 10 damage, much more impactful, plus 10% size, same as the other one, but that's fine, 15 damage, so again, just a big, that's at least a very big uh, point, you know, it's more than 10, it's more than the 5s, it's more than the others, so that's good to see, plus 10 damage, 5% uh, crit chance, and banner plus 5 damage, there we go, another banner plus 5 damage, two of them, that's plus 10 damage, which is essentially one of these points every time you get a banner upgrade. And again, the super over here was 15, which is nice, but, you know, not the best. Uh, Namacron, uh, level up knockback, does 20 damage. It is now 250 damage, which is fantastic. Uh, huge, you know, I I'd say huge fan of it, but I'm not. I'm not. This pet is still terrible. Uh, when I level up half the time, no enemies are around me anyway. Maybe it saves my life once, but at the same time, if I had just more damage, more experience, more move speed, I probably wouldn't be in that situation anyway. So, sorry, Namacron, you're, you're still out for me. Uh, 
Will I take it? Of course, you know, I like to take everything, but this will definitely be a take and last in the uh, hardcore run that I'm going to be doing. Uh, another 2% crit chance, which is fantastic. Uh, and then we go to Cleave. Cleave is always a fantastic ability. It is plus one combo, which is one more strike when it is uh, firing, much like the Shurikens. Uh, 0.1 cooldown. Again, that's the only way to get cooldown. Very important. 10% size. It is very small, so that's actually very important as well. 10% knockback. Knockback is nice, but it's more of a killy weapon now. Uh, its size is so small. I generally will kill everything with it, so the knockback isn't as effective, but... I guess it's nice to have. You are hitting so many times, it will protect you. Uh, three damage, not that much. Three damage, not that much. And 2% crit chance to the banner, which makes it a 7% banner, which is fantastic. Uh, just more crit. Uh, really outshines Bone. Again, I always compared this to Bone in some regards, and the fact that this was getting more crit chance and Bone is stuck at three just feels really bad. The Bone banner is just depressing to me. Um, moving on down, we will clear out this little, uh, path over here, and we have Chikonrad, actually, we'll, we'll clear it down below, too. Uh, Chikonrad, one damage mitigation on that. I don't know if this has changed. I'm assuming it's still one, though. Uh, I was on Hugo, and I saw it in a shop, and it didn't show me, so unfortunate there. Plus two damage, again, more than plus one, not as much as plus three, still good to have. And we have our Shatter Shurikens, uh, I believe this is the second one, and this will be 0.1 cooldown. 10% size, nice to have, 5% uh, crit chance, they are the king of crits, uh, 0.1 cooldown, 7 damage, and banner for crit, this is amazing, 10% crit per banner level, it is beautiful, 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 cannot speak enough about that, it makes it so, so good. Um, we have our little bit of health here, we have our chest speed increase, same as before, 1 second with 0.2s off of it, another 2 seconds off, then we have our health here, and we have our Tornado ability here. And you might not like Tornado. I, I don't really have too much of a problem with it. Uh, but it has gone through some changes. So as we can see, this is now range plus 5. So it goes further out. That's that's very new. 10% knockback and 10% knockback. Again, it's the exact same as the previous point, but it's a super node. 10% uh, speed, 0.1 cooldown, and 2 damage. And this is kind of epic. I will say, because Tornado doesn't get much damage, so uh, I'll allow it, I guess. Um, but more importantly, off of Tornado, what do you get? Level up banner choices plus one. An extra choice for your upgrades. Fantastic. Get it as soon as possible. Um, even if you don't like Tornado, suck it up. Get this level up choice plus one. Even though rerolls are 100 gold, you still want that other option. No doubt about it. So moving along, we're going from Chikonrad down to Rupert. Coins are worth 50% more. That is a lie. It is 30% more. So it looks like none of the pets have been updated on the dark web. Perfectly fine. It happens. It's tooltips. Uh, they are working on patches right now to fix all of these things. 5% uh, rune drop rate. Fantastic. Uh, again, more currency, more levels, more levels, more good. Uh, we have Arrow uh, again over here. Here we go with 0.1 cooldown reduction. Very nice. 0.2 cooldown reduction. Very nice. And that's not a banner. So, you know, it's just nice. 10% uh, speed, 10% size, 5 damage, and another 3 damage to the banner. Again, banner damage increases. Very, very nice. Love them. Get them. Enjoy them. All of that good stuff. Uh, more mining nodes. Yay, mining nodes. I, I suppose it's much easier to convert them, so that is actually very beneficial. Uh, plus 3 damage. Again, another plus three damage note. Very, very nice. If you were counting so far, we had a one, a two, a three, and this is our second three. That would be a total of nine damage so far on all of your starting weapons, except for vines and for orbital fire and for ice rain, <laughs> uh, because those are dot damage. But still, it's still very, very nice. Uh, we have the pet, Chris, which is still... Uh, Oh, it doubles all crystals. Uh, I think in the shop it just says plus one, so I guess that effectively doubles all crystals. So, you know, uh, that that works out. I'll, I'll say it checks out. Uh, we have two health, two health. You know, most of, most of these little offshoots are just two health. We have a 10% health right here, though, which is always important. And we have the Spine Dunes map off of that with its associated hard mode. Uh, so let's move on down to this little block right here, and we have more chests, more chests, more good. Uh, we have more shops, more shops, more good. You know, just, again, pops that number up just a tiny bit higher, so they are always on the map. Spears, uh, again, 
I am a fan of Spears right now. Uh, I, I know it, it, it feels bad for me. Uh, but 5% crit chance, very nice. 5% crit chance, 5% size, and 5% size. Just bigger and crittier. All right, I'll take it. Plus 5 damage. Uh, 0.1 cooldown. All right, you know, get that cooldown down. The, the cooldown is still too high for me. But with their AoE, it is quite nice. And one more spear. Now, what's... I, I mean, this feels bad to me because it is plus one spear here. And I am going to move the map a little bit to get to the other spears. Plus one spear. Plus one spear. Not epic abilities. They're literally just two offshoots. I think they cost like 20 runes and 40 runes or something cheap like that. And this is considered an epic ability. I mean, it's nice because, yes, it is later on and getting another spear when you already have so many, it does help. It just, again, it feels misleading. So, eh, just take it as you will. Um, plus one damage mitigation, always beautiful. 10% uh, experience, Always amazing. Definitely want these. More levels, more kills, more fun, more good. 10% mining experience, uh, uh, percent, and then again, five two percenters off the side of it. And then, same thing, 20% loot magnet with five one percenters for 25% there. Can't argue with those. And this leads into the Hinterlands map with its associated hard mode. Uh, same as before, as usual, and that gives you 5% soul drop rate. Now, while this isn't 10% experience, this can be technically kind of more, since, you know, that 5%, it, the way percentages work, it does depend on how much the rate is, uh, and if it's additive or multiplicative. If it is additive, this can actually be quite high, especially if you're using things like Vivian, uh, or, and, you know, something like that. So we'll have to wait. I, I don't know officially. I'm not a dev. I apologize. Uh, we have our second tornado ability over here. And I love this one because it's just all webs off of it. It's not you have to go down a chain. You can basically see everything except for this one, which I mouse over. And we'll go over in a sec. So we have knockback, 10%. Nice. Plus one tornado. Amazing. More tornadoes, more good. Uh, speed, very, very nice. Range, I mean, can't go wrong. They last longer. 0.1 second cooldown. All right. 5% crit chance, I'll take it, you know, more crits, more good, 3 damage, again, damage is very important, because you are not upgrading its damage, and then 1 knockback, uh, to the banner, again, this is a banner upgrade, very nice, always a fan, knockback is what it's used for, it's, a, it's a, supposed to be a utility spell for knockback, so this is very important in that regard, uh, we have our 2 health nodes, yay health, and then, oh, I guess I didn't do lockpick, lockpick, still 50%, good for lockpick, go you. Uh, Grand Hex, again, yay Grand Hex. And off the right, we have 0.1 seconds, 0.1 seconds, take a little bit of cooldown, always good to see. 5 damage, 5 damage, 10 damage, ooh, 10 damage, oh my, 30 damage right there, and a banner for 5 damage on, uh, on the damage level up. That is just massive amounts of damage for the Grand Hex, no complaints there whatsoever. I think it starts out at over 100 damage now. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, so I am a fan. Uh, Mandrake, 5% crit chance. This is a lie. It is now 10%. But, hey, who's counting? It is what it is. Again, none of the pets have appear to be updated on the dark web. And here is hardcore mode. I couldn't find it at first because I was like, I was looking for nodes off of nodes, and it's literally just this giant spider at the bottom with the hardcore mode node right there, and that is how you get that. Uh, I will be starting a run soon. Um... We have our 10% pet speed increase. It sucks that there's no nodes off of this. Pet speeds feel so slow, or pet cages feel so slow compared to the other things. Uh, it, it's fine. They're more powerful, I understand. It's just you get everything, and with all the level ups, everything gets so fast, and then the pet cages just, they just feel slow comparatively. It happens. It is what it is. Uh, more mining nodes, fantastic. Again, uh, great for the conversion. 10% uh, experience. Always amazing. 5% more runes. Great to have more resources. Big Tex. Love Big Tex. One of my favorite pets. More size, more good on everything. It's more important now, I think, than ever before, especially with the changes to Cleave, with Ice Ring, uh, with Grand Hex. All of them, size is beautiful. Uh, so do get that. Another 2 damage, pushing us up to 11 damage right now. Fantastic. We have our 2 health nodes, of course. And then off of that is the 
third tier of cleave. Uh, this is plus three damage. Can't argue with that. Dam damage plus two on the banner. Oh, I can speak well. Uh, that is a fantastic. Banner upgrades, always a good thing. 5% crit, 0.1% cooldown reduction. Again, only way to get cooldown reduction is through these, so amazing. Uh, plus three damage, 10% knockback, plus one combo. Very nice to get one more hit in. And 0.2 cooldown reduction. Again, not a banner, but at the same time, I think everything else is 0.1. So this is effectively a double level for something that you cannot actually get anymore. So I think that is kind of worth an elite point. I'll give it that uh, in this regard. It's still, you know, it still wish like banners where it looked like something. Maybe elite points looked like something and elite points shouldn't be seen anywhere else. Uh, that's how I would visually want it distinguished. Uh, we have 2% crit. The Magnet, 20%, again, 1% one, uh, 1 offshoots off of it for another 25%, fantastic. 2 health, always good. Uh, collectible Life, plus 2%, can't argue with Collectible Life, it does work. And then, you know, you have 0 .1, 10.1 offshoots off of it for 3 seconds longer. And we have our third Tornado ability over here. That will give us 10% knockback, that will give us 5% crit chance, that will give us 0.1 second cooldown, and 0.1 second cooldown. Can't argue with those. Plus two damage, again, the only way, real way to get damage, so that's five more damage for you right there, and just one more tornado. Again, very nice to have another tornado, but if we look down here, which one was it? Was it second one? Second one. Plus one tornado. Not an elite ability. And this is, I think, the third tier. It is an elite ability. Uh, again, I know the more you have, the more it impacts it, and blah, 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 blah. But it, it feels like if you don't know what this is, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see. And then you're like, oh, it's just another one of those things that I got as a normal point. Okay. <laughs> you know, it just, it just feels a little off. Um, we have our 2% crit here. And off of this is the Viper Village and the associated hard mode. Uh, off of this, we have Conrad. And off of that, we have Chest Open Speed again. Another two seconds because these are all point two, and you have five of them. And off of this Chest Open Speed, you do have the Cemetery Map and its associated hard mode as well. Um, coming off of Conrad, we have our vines, which I have not yet gone over. So back to the center, and then we're doing that top right side. So off of the vines, we have cooldown reduction, size, cooldown reduction. Always good to get the vines out faster. Three dot damage, 0.5 second dot length, which is fantastic, and five more dot damage. So very nice upgrades just to have your starter vines be that a little bit more effective. Uh, I have no problem with this. I wish there was a banner on the initial one. I think every initial one should have like a banner to aim for. I think that'd be really nice to have just to you know get that starter power up. But it's perfectly fine. It's just a personal opinion. Another 150 gold. Boop, 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 boop. Nice and easy. And the starter shurikens right here. And here we go. We have cooldown reduction. Opposite side, cooldown reduction. Hey, look, they mimic each other. Crit chance, opposite side, crit chance. Hey, look, they're still mimicking each other. And then seven damage. So that's 10% crit, a bit of cooldown, and then seven damage. No problem there. And then one quantity to the banner. So good. One quantity to the banner. Again, if we were to go back up here, plus one shuriken, which is the same as the previous node. And this is plus one to every banner upgrade you get, and you get 10 of them. So this is essentially plus 10. That's an elite node. Boom. <laughs> um, spears, spears are always fantastic. 5% uh, crit chance. Well, they are now, to me. I, I really like them for their clearing ability. 5% uh, crit chance, 5% crit chance, 5% size, 5% size. Again, we had another one that looked just like this. Fantastic there. More crit, more size. 5 damage. Again, mimicked on the other side with 5 damage. 5 more damage right off the bat, making a nice trifecta. And then 0.1 second cooldown. Again, cooldown is king. And a banner upgrade for size. Again, banner upgrades, very good. The size is actually very important. Now, you only get 3 levels. So, it might, so this banner upgrade is not as impactful, but at the same time, it is very important to get its size up because it really can clear a lot of enemies. That's that's the sort of the point of Spears now. It is more of a clearing of the tiny enemies, but it still does massive amounts of damage and can snipe things. It's just a chance to. Uh, Hoodoo, this has never been upgraded since its original uh, because it has changed to uh, three 
three, four, or ten damage total. Um, I believe it is still the same. I think actually, my I said that they got a little buff. I don't know what that little buff is. I think when I first got it, it still was three damage. Maybe it's five. Uh, but still, Hoodoo, amazing, especially with dots. There are now four dots, uh, which is fantastic. So mines, vines, ice ring, and orbital fire are dots. So you can do a pure dot run, and Hoodoo will be amazing. Plus, the next character I do believe is focused around dots, and will be Hoodoo's father, uncle, grandfather, cousin. Uh, spirit guide i don't know but it, it looks like a giant hoodoo so i'm very looking forward to that we have mining speed plus 10 percent and off of this is actually an interesting one because we have one two three four five six seven seven so that's 24 percent it's you know just different it different is not bad uh we have our bone shot ability yet again go bone shot we have some crit chance always good crit chance always good damage plus five and banner damage plus three again banner damage always amazing thing i find this interesting that these are five percent crit but it's bad but the banners are uh are only three percent so come on let's let's make the banners five percent um ten speed uh 10 speed so they do fire faster uh we have 10 percent range we have five percent cooldown again these just say 10 uh they should say 10 percent just a little uh you know just a little error it's not a problem it's still in the uh, in low patches and things like that uh and i'm sure that will be corrected in the future one damage mitigation with a two health off of it going into two percent crit which is always fantastic to the mines and the vines going through the mines first we have five damage we have 10 damage Ooh, we have 10 percent size 0.1 cooldown reduction five dot damage and plus 15 damage again not a banner but it is two points in one uh unless you count two tens in which case it is you know not but in this case it is two points in one again it's an elite point it's not a banner it's fine that works uh you know not what i would like but it's it's nice to have it makes it very highly damaging i am looking forward to trying the mines out vines we have 0.2 cooldown reduction amazing 0.2 cooldown reduction awesome and one vine not too bad um dot speed more dots more better dot speed more dots more better dot damage more damage more gooder and dot length the longer it lasts the more damage you do and the more the speed impacts so this is actually a fantastic thing i think this is these are worthy of uh elite points because this is essentially an elite ability of the vine so I, I am a fan of that as well uh so moving from the damage mitigation we have our 10 percent health fantastic uh cannot argue with that whatsoever we have our orbital fire and that is dot damage dot damage plus two or plus one plus two and then 10 percent speed again dot damage is all damage because it is all dot damage now dot damage plus three so one two speed three which is again speed is amazing and then banner speed boom you want it get it get this point if you like orbital fire no doubt whatsoever uh finishing off this set we only have a few left almost done almost done uh we have our pet open speed pet cage open speed 10 percent faster fantastic uh again does not get that high they were only I think two or we went over this is not that much uh but it's okay and then we have another gold set which is 150 gold we have our era our arrow our uh you know our archer ability which is always a good thing and off of that we have 0.2 cooldown we have 10 percent speed we have five crit chance we have 10 uh, knockback a uh, knockback on arrow i don't really care for because you have to aim it so much uh, i don't know i wish it just was more killy but again another 10 knockback 10 percent speed and five damage eh, the five damage again is that elite uh, i mean it's the only damage on this tier so i guess but i don't know i'm not not the biggest fan then we have more chests and we have beacon so that is the web uh i'm not sure if i went over this collectible life actually so there's a collectible life up here as well i apologize if i didn't uh and that's another uh 2.9 seconds where the other one is three so i think that is the entire web that should be everything uh you know use this to your heart's content make a build uh i suggest playing with all weapons uh but at the same time if you really want to uh min max you know you can really build around certain weapons so for instance if you don't want mines you don't you can go up here and not take mines there over here you 
Well, if you want Hugo, you need mines now. I forgot that they added the Hugo off of the mines. I was going to say, you can completely avoid it and go down, but Hugo kind of ruins that. But you can avoid other things, uh, such as... If you don't care about the gold, uh, the vines, I guess that's one thing that they're trying to do is make sure you have a reason to take something. Uh, so that is interesting. Like if you don't like, I, I probably wouldn't take tornado if I could avoid it, but there's no way I'm not taking tornado without the level up choice. So, you know, it is harder to do that. Although pet wise, it is very easy to avoid things. You know, you can, if you didn't want Hardy and Beacon, you can work your way around. It will take a lot of time, and you do want to get to Dark Moon Grove earlier than later, but at the same time, you can work your way all the way around and uh, get to Dark Moon Grove without taking either of these pets. Uh, you can avoid Hoodoo. You can, you know, so pets you can definitely avoid. Uh, I am a fan of pretty much every pet. There are some that I would avoid, you know, especially now. Definitely Nomicron. Uh, Rupert is only 30% now, which isn't terrible, but at the same time, uh, you don't need as much gold thanks to the uh, abilities of uh, the reroll system. I mean, it's only 100 gold to reroll now. Uh, it does help with shops, but, you know, not as impressive for me. Um, Chris, you can probably avoid, although you do have to take either Rupert or Chris um, if you want these down here, and that is a plus three damage, so you do want them. So, yeah, you know, you can you can definitely build around things. Lockpick probably wouldn't take, you know, avoid that. You can easily do such things. And Big Tex, I love Big Tex. If you don't, you can just go down here and then come from the other side. You know, you can avoid pretty much every pet. I uh, I would, I mean, definitely get at least the starter pets, of course. You don't even have to do that. I mean, you can still work your way around um, for the most part. Uh, you, but, you know, some you do have to get. Again, if you do want the Shadow Shirk and you need Chicon Rad, it happens. But, yeah. So, thank you very much for checking out the web. I hope it helped. Leave a comment with what you like, you know, what weapons you like, something along those lines. Or tell me what you don't like about it you know maybe you think some of these nodes suck maybe you think some of them are amazing i don't know i'd like to hear about it uh let me know your thoughts and your feelings uh but thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day uh please like comment subscribe all of that good stuff i greatly appreciate it it helps me keep going and all of those things uh and have a wonderful day happy hunting